her. Oh, hi. There he is. What you doing? Parker. Over here. Over here. Come here. Come here, crazy. Come here, crazy. Go. That crazy. Arwen. You guys are going to hear me yelling in the background. That's my three tabby boys who are not happy that they aren't getting my undivided attention. So, Parker. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Parker. Hi, Parker. Oh, there's Arwen. Potato, be nice to her. Oh, there she goes. Potato. Little rascal. Parker. What are you doing, Bubby? Oh, there he goes. Where are you going, Park? Come on, Parks. Parker. Parker. Over here. Parker. Come on. Parker. Oh, there's Arwen. Parker. There he is. Parker. Where you going, Bubby? Oh, okay. Bye. Hi. Come here. Parker, come. Come here. Come on. Where are you going? Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. Here, go this way. Whoa, there's Arwen. Hi, beautiful. Want to say hello to everyone? Oh, there she is. There's the pretty girl. Okay, too busy. Too busy. Come here, Carolina. There's Carolina. Waiting for her forever home. Who's going to adopt you? Oh, no. <laughs> Be nice. Be nice to Arwen. That's a pretty girl. Good job. Where'd Parker go? Parker! He actually does usually come when I call him. Parker! Parker! Where's Parker? Come on! Parker! Parker, come, come on, come on, oh my goodness, come on, come on, come here, Parker, oh. <laughs> there he is, oh, bye, see you later, see you later, who's a cute boy, who's a cute boy? Thank you, Julie, for buying a badge. There he goes. Thank you, Cindy. Parker! Potato! Oh, Potato, leave him alone. Potato, come on. Get down. Behave yourself. Where'd Carolina go? There she is. Come on, come play, girlfriend. Come on, Carolina. Who's a pretty girl? Oh, potato, steal the show.
he's a cute girl. Parker, come on. Arwen. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are cute. Cute babies. What do you think, Parker? I like the mushrooms. I wish they were, and so, sometimes I wish they were bigger, but they're also really cute the way that they are. Hi, Parker. Whoop. Bye, Parker. <laughs> Come on. Parker. Come on. Where's Parker? Parker, come say hi to Aunt Maggie. Aunt Maggie said that you can come vacation with her and sushi. Parker! Hmm, not listening. Hi, Arwen. Bye, Arwen. Um, is that really Parker interacting with you and the other kittens? I would not say that he's really interacting with the other kittens. He does respond when I call his name, um, and he comes near me, but he doesn't come, like, up to me, uh, and he doesn't really interact at all with the other cats. I, I say that he is chasing his imaginary friends. So. Parker! Where's Parker? Potato, don't do it. I see you. There's Parker. Come here. Parker. See, like I'm over here and he went the other way. He doesn't really. Like he hears me and he comes to my, in my general direction. But he doesn't. It's not like, it's different. It's hard to explain. Um, is Arwen totally blind? I go back and forth because sometimes I swear she can see something um, and then other times I'm like girl you can't see anything she's kind of used to this room now since she does you know come out to like play and explore but um, I don't know she has a ophthalmologist appointment this week and so we should get some more answers and have like a a plan put in place for her surgery wise what you doing, Parks? And there's Charlie. Where's the prince? Where's the prince? Prince Charlie. What are you doing, Parker? Be nice, Carolina. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, so the thing about blind kittens is that they do adapt really, really well. So they learn the room <clears throat> and the smells and the other animals and people. So yeah, she's running around um, because she knows this room and she's adapted to it. But I, I don't know. I think she probably is blind. We'll see. Thank you for buying a badge. Carolina, can someone please adopt her? She needs a home. She's ready to go. Yeah, you're perfect. You're ready to go. Are you the star of the show now? This is basically what Parker does. He, potato. He just <laughs> runs around chasing whatever he's chasing. I have no idea. He's having a pretty good day. 
but I say this like every day and then at night time <clears throat> or in the evenings he starts to like go downhill <laughs> what are you doing Charlie Potato. No, sir. Um, Parker has the partial seizures anywhere from three to 20 times a day all throughout the day. And the partial seizures are just the ones that you guys have seen where he just kind of like convulses and then he's like fine. Like he goes back to whatever he's doing um but he has had some clusters and grand mal seizures and those generally have been at night but they've been like he's had them at 6 p.m 2 a.m 9 p.m there's not a consistent time but they are in the later part of the day It's probably very confusing for a lot of people who see the videos of him like he is right now having a good moment running around it's hard to see him like this and think oh like you know he also has very severe seizures that are not currently controlled by medication and all of the doctors which are many kind of agree that there's really not like we're going to try another medication but they're very doubtful that it's going to do anything um we're not we're not going to be able to eliminate them is the general consensus it's just going to be trying to lessen them because when he has them like last night um i mean they're pretty severe like they he just convulses and flings himself around the kennel and um, that kind of thing. So uh, the doctors, neurologists, two different neurologists, Dr. Jackie, who had Parker for, you know, over two months, like there's just not a lot of hope that we're going to be able to eliminate them. Just, we hope to lessen them or lessen the severity. Parker, Parker, come on, come over here. Parks. Come on, Parks. Over here. I'm over here. Come here. Come here. Parker. <laughs> um, how old is Charlie? Charlie is two and a half. Charlie, come here. Cha cha. Come here, my prince. Come here, my Prince Charlie. Come here. You want to play? Cha-cha. Cha-cha. Charlie. Here. You want to play? No? Hi, baby boy. Thank you guys for buying badges. Um, I don't have babies in the incubator. Arwen is actually living in the incubator. <laughs> it's not on and she doesn't need anything that it provides. Um, but that's just where she's been. Potato. Potato, can you please stop doing things to get in trouble? Such a troublemaker. Parker. Parker, where'd you go? Let me see your tail. Parker. I don't know, he's in his own little world. Sorry if I'm missing questions. Um, someone mentioned Alzheimer's, um, and that 
Potato. Potato. Get down. <sighs> Troublemaker. Come here. Come on. Get down. Pain in the butt. So anyway, someone mentioned <laughs> Alzheimer's. And that is... Um, Kind of one of the concerns that one of the neurologists has is that Parker has a degenerative disease, which would be compared to something like Alzheimer's. Um, I don't think we've gotten the metabolic panel that tests for those diseases back yet. Um, but yeah, it's very likely that he has something like that. Arwen, are you doing your circling? Are you lost, baby? So Arwen does that a lot circles like she's lost did you get lost pretty girl did you get lost say hi everyone oh okay bye um anyway yeah oh bye maggie Parker has had, uh, Parker has seizures all throughout the day. Um, usually they're the partial seizures, so they happen and then he recovers very quickly. Like he'll be out like right now running around and then he'll just have one, um, but recovers quickly. So he has them every day, which is not good because every time he has a seizure, whether it's partial or a grand mal, like, you know, it affects the brain in some way, it deteriorates his awareness and everything. Um, so, yeah. I'm glad that it's brightened your day. I find it really hard to balance showing him. I'm trying to show like the good and the bad but every time I show, like, his good moments, people are, like, full of hope. <laughs> when I really need everyone to be kind of realistic and realize that, yeah, he does have good moments. But he's also having severe seizures. And those seizures are not, are very likely not going to go away. We're just hoping to be able to control them a little better and maybe lessen them. But, yeah. So... Hi, Parker. What are you doing? Hi, Bobby. Hello. So, I don't know. We just try to enjoy his good moments, but also try to be realistic that this is not, he's not a normal, kitten and he does have some serious issues. Do the seizures hurt? From what I understand from the neurologist as well as people who have seizures is that when they're having the seizures they really aren't aware of what's going on um, but afterwards they can be confused, very tired, even sore. Um, so I think it would be fair to assume. Hi, Parker. You're right here. Hello. I think it would be fair to assume, um, that especially when he has clusters and um, the grand mal seizures, that afterwards he's probably tired and sore and more confused. What are you doing? <clears throat> um, how is Parker's eating? His eating is fine. He eats on his own now. <laughs> However, he's kind of like a, a brand new weaned kitten. In potato. In that he kind of swims in his food. Um, he also doesn't really, he can't focus on things. And so 
um, like when I put his food down or I have it in my hand, he can smell it and he gets very excited about it, but he can't focus on it to see exactly where it is. So he ends up just swimming in it and making a mess. Potato. No, sir. Thank you. I think I'm missing some people buying badges. Thank you for buying badges. What you doing, Carolina? Come here. Come here. Come get it. There's a pretty girl. Carolina. Um, I mean, so the question is, how do you watch Parker at night when you have to sleep to see if he doesn't have a crisis? I mean, there's nothing I can do in the middle of the night if I'm asleep. And even when I'm awake, there's really not much I can do, depending on the type of seizure and how long it's going on. I could administer an extra dose of medication. Um, I mean, if... If I see them, I typically hold him, but it doesn't really do anything for him. Um, so if it happens in the middle of the night, it happens, you know, I just, I certainly can't stay up 24 hours a day to monitor him. But I do have a camera. <clears throat> that monitors him. So each morning I do look over the footage just to see if he's had any partial seizures or what happened overnight. Um, but that's about all I can do. Carolina. Carolina is adoption ready. She is ready to go to her forever home. We actually have three kittens. The other two are out in foster homes, but um, how did Potato get his name? So Potato came to me last September with um, two siblings, a sister and a brother, and they were found outside in the rain under a picnic table, and so their names are picnic themes. So he was Potato Salad. And then he had a sister, um, apple pie, and then he had a brother named Sammy Sandwich. Yeah, potato is a huge, huge pain in the butt, right? Very cute and very sweet, but a huge pain in my butt. He gets into literally everything. Everything he can get into, he gets into. Right? Right? Yeah. Hey, Carolina. <clears throat> he likes to add work to my day. Right, potato? Yeah. Oh, potato. She didn't like that. Oh, I went. Oh. Did you hear me doing that on the floor? I think she can hear. She can have a little mouse. What'd you find, Arwen? Did you find a little mouse toy? Good girl. They really love these felt mice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? Where did it go? You gotta find it. Oh, good girl. Good job, Arwen. Bye.
in over here, babe. Over here. You hear that, Parker? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are cute. Bobo's over there in his felt cave. Whoa, Arwen. You just walked past your mouse. Parker. Hi, buddy. Hi, Parker. Hey, bud. Oh, I'm over here, buddy. Parker. Over here. There you go. Come here. Come here. Oh, are you going to be mad that I'm holding you now? Yeah. Oh, you have something to say? What? Yeah? What else? What else does Parker have to say? Oh, we're getting mad. Okay, go play. Arwen's doing circles. Oh. What are you doing, Arwen? Hi, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. <clears throat> There's Arwen. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, Parks. Whoa. <laughs> Good job, Arwen. <laughs> Good job, Arwen. Why are you such a troublemaker? Hmm? There's Carolina. Whoa. Good girl. That's a good girl. Whoa. go. Arwen. There she is. Come on, Arwen. <laughs> she likes Parker. Potato be nice. <clears throat> Thanks, Julie. Oh, there's a bobo. Bobo, are you in your cave? <clears throat> Thank you guys for buying badges. Oh, there's an Arwen. Arwen! What you doing, Parker? What 
you doing in here? Parker. There you go. <clears throat> Come here, bud. Would it be nice? Sure. <laughs> Is it a realistic expectation? No. Our one's going to be adoption ready in like a month. Parker is far from adoption ready. What you doing, buddy? You okay? What you doing? You okay? Are you getting mad? Don't be mad. You okay? Oh, don't be mad. I'm starting to get overstimulated. And I know that because he's trying to bite and that's not nice. Are you getting overstimulated? You need to go rest? Come on, Bubba. I'm an angry meow. Yeah. You need to go rest? Mm -hmm. how you do. Oh, you're getting growly. You must be getting tired, Bubba. Parker, you getting tired? person that can care for Parker um, but it's gonna be pretty hard to trust anyone else too just because like yeah he has the seizures and he's a different kitten and like requires a different level of care but like, he's on three different medications they have to be timed pretty closely like one medication is every eight hours. It really needs to be every eight hours. The other medications are every 12 hours. Um, I'm also expressing his bladder at this time just because um, I started expressing it when he wasn't able to go. Um, and while he now can go on his own, expressing him means that I don't wake up to him soaked in urine because he peed overnight so if I express him it eliminates the accidents <clears throat> and I think that that's going to be something that's he's going to need properly for the rest of his life because I don't think that he is going to learn to use a litter box <laughs> um so yeah trusting someone to be able to to give him the level of care that he needs is going to be really, really difficult. Oh! He and Arwen just um, smacked heads. You okay, buddy? Parker, you okay? His head is very sensitive. He um, does not like for it to be touched or rubbed. 
Oh, he just had a partial. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Are we getting overstimulated? <clears throat> you okay? Parker. So usually if he has two of the partial seizures in a row, I will put him back in his kettle. Parker. Oh, okay. Yep. He's got to go back in his kennel. He's getting too overstimulated. <clears throat> hey, buddy. Parker. Oh, buddy. Come on. Let's get you back in your kennel. Come on, Bubba. Come on. You gotta get some rest. I know. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> so <coughs> excuse me um okay bud yeah he's very overstimulated right now um, so there are signs to him becoming overstimulated, like when I picked him up and he was trying to bite me and smack me, and then the partial. <coughs> now he's very twitchy. Where's Arwen going? Arwen. Thank you, Carolina. Let's fix our rug, huh? <clears throat> All right, guys. I think I am going to go because I want to see this live and um, I don't want it to be super long. So, thank you guys for being here and hanging out and thank you to those who bought badges um, I will try to go live more often it just kind of depends on how our day is going really so thank you guys <laughs> I appreciate you guys and I will talk to you later